Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis, if you don't already know. And today, y'all finna be cooking with me. Like, I'm so excited because this is like my first video of doing this. It's a trial and error, so I don't need chefs and stuff like that in my comments. Um, talking about you did that wrong because I'm finna try to make some crab legs. Fried crab legs. D-shelled or D, whatever it's called, I'm finna be trying to do that. So, without further ado, let's get into the video okay y'all so this is everything that i will be using um so i watched a youtube video of this dude making it and all he did was use old bay he made his uh base with hot sauce and eggs and he didn't use all this extra stuff but like i said i'm trying like don't be in my comments on my you can't cook because i've never done this before so anyway so i'm basically finna prop the phone up and i'm finna do the eggs in here <clears throat> why am i out of breath <laughs> i'm gonna do the eggs in here and then he put hot sauce in it. like that is so strange but i'm gonna try it anyway and then over here obviously i have my oil on and it's heating up and then we're gonna drop them so and then i would do i don't know i'm gonna just uh do it with flour today but um i would probably like any other day i would probably do it with fish fry but i looked in the cabinets i didn't even stop at the store because i thought i already had some here but apparently i don't even have um fish fry so this will just have to do so yeah so here it is boom 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 oil on and i will be right back. before i put this meat up i already got some out before i put this meat up i got this from what's it called sprouts i got this meat from sprouts you guys, can, you guys can see it. This is how it comes in the package. And I just le left it in the freezer until I was ready to cook it. Um, and obviously, I already have my egg and hot sauce mixed up. It honestly looks crazy, but I'm going to try his recipe anyway. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, that my oil is ready. It's on medium-high heat. And I am about to better my crab meat. okay so what he says do first is with this this is basically my egg and my hot sauce if i haven't already said it louisiana and i'm going to take what he did was oh he seasoned his crab meat first so i'm going to take my old bay and i'm going to sprinkle he said do it light if you've never done it so i'm gonna just do it lightly I don't even really know what Old Bay tastes like. Like, I've never really made seafood. So, hopefully, that's lightly. Flip them over. Then do the other side. And then, that's all he used with me. I love pepper, and I honestly don't think pepper will me mess this up. So I'm going to do pepper just like on the top coat and stuff like that just in case it really does <laughs> mess with it. So I'm going to do pepper, a little bit of red pepper because I like a little spice to it. And I'm going to put this in my um, dipping sauce when I get done. And then a little bit of lemon pepper. Y'all, once again, I'm literally just trying stuff. Um, so... But I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes. Like, I may not be, like, a chef, but I know what tastes good. And so, even though I've never done this before, it's just, like, I, after I'm done, look, y'all might not even make it to see this video if this food tastes crazy. But, so basically what he did was he battered it like that. And then... He shook it off, put it back in here, coat it, let it drip, back in the batter. I love the little saran wrap. Like, I don't know, it makes me feel like a new cook and stuff like that, which I am. But it's just like, I love doing the saran wrap thing. It's just like, it's kind of mess free. But, um... All right, y'all, I'm going to let y'all watch me do one more. So we put it in here. Drop it over here. Toss, toss, toss. 
This flower is so satisfying on my hands. Like, it feels like so soft and fluffy. Better than snow. So, boom, shake it off. Do it back over here. Looks like chicken. Then do it back over here. And we're done. And then set it off to the side. So I am going to go off camera and finish these. But basically it's like repeating the same method. And I will be back when it's time to drop it. Now I am dropping them. I am done. I'm not going to put too many in there. Because I don't want to overcrowd it. Um... And I'm trying not to record as much because I want to try to make it with love. <laughs> Food tastes better when you make it with love. So, yes. Yeah, so, that is on. They're in there. Nothing really much to see. And I will come back when they're almost done. So, this is just a couple of minutes of being in there. Like, they look so good. And they're floating. I don't know if they're supposed to float. <laughs> but they're floating. And now, I'm about to prep my dipping sauce. I already have... Um, my area cleaned up. I got the last few over here and now I'm about to prepare my dipping sauce, which will be butter, garlic, oregano for the look. And then I might add a little pepper because I like hot stuff. Um, I might add a little red pepper and then maybe some old basin. I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to just like taste it, like do a little sprinkle and taste it as I go. But, um, yes, so I will be right back. But this is what we're looking at. Okay, so to me, it looks like a little, like, on the crispier side and stuff like that. But he was saying in the, um, YouTube tutorial to not be so happy about getting, um, pulling them out so soon. So even though they were cute and golden and stuff like that, he said just leave them in there a little bit longer. So I'm trying to just, like, wait it out. I'm, I don't want to burn them. But, yes. So, oop, that would look a little crispy. But that's how those are looking. I'm probably about to pull them out in the next minute or so. Over here, I have my butter melting down. And all he really did was add his Old Bay seasoning to it. So I'm going to add that. So I'm going to add my Old Bay seasoning. And then I'm going to add some black pepper. Because y'all know I like pepper. Y'all ain't got to do that part. And then I'm going to do, oh, that was a lot. That was the other end, but some red pepper. And then I have my minced garlic, and I'm going to put that instead of the garlic that I showed y'all. I'm going to put that. So, I will so do that. here are my ones that are already done. They look nice and golden. And then I have my other batch in. And then over here, I have my butter cooking down. I added the garlic and everything that you guys seen, and now it's melted down, and I will turn it off. Hey y'all, so I just tasted this, and I'm not even like trying to flex or nothing like that, but bro, for my first time making this, I don't even know what these taste like yet, I'm about to try them, but this right here, just the sauce, is bomb, so bomb, so y'all definitely gotta use... Look, I put pepper, black pepper in it. That's why I look a little burnt. A little bit of black pepper, obey the garlic, and the um, a little bit of red pepper if you like it spicy, and then the butter, and that was it. So I will show you guys when I am completely done. All right, guys, so this is the aftermath, and I've already tried one, and it is so good, and I think y'all should try it. Garlic, butter, it's so good but anyways thank you guys for watching and i hope you like this video and i hope you guys try it and leave a comment in the comment section below if you're going to try it and if you made it and how it turned out and also go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this post and go check out my other videos too while you're at it. have a good night y'all